Hey there, everybody. How's it going? This is Bronson from Fretz RV here in Southampton, Pennsylvania. I'm excited to show you another product here from Winnebago. We have the 1708 FB. This is a part of their micro mini series, one of their shorter models. Still have a dual axle, all the great standard features which come with the Winnebago products. I'll take you around the outside and inside, show you some features, and see if this might be the trailer for you. There are a lot of folks that ask me why the uh, MSRP and Winnebago's tend to be higher than other manufacturers, so hopefully I can get the point across in this video here and kind of tell you why. Again, a lot of standard features that come on Winnebago's that you're just not getting on other products uh, of this range. So starting in the front, we do have a fiberglass front cap up here. You've got a power tongue jack, which is nice. Two standard 20-pound propane tanks. You've got a spot for 230 pounds if you want to get up there. Standard on all their micro minis, you've got fiberglass walls all the way around the front, back, the sides. You of course have a power awning on this side with some speakers out here for your outdoor entertainment. Some tinted windows for your overall privacy and climate control, it helps with that. Let's come towards the front, something you might notice underneath here, these do have power stabilizer jacks, again standard. You'll find two in the front, two in the rear, just a touch of a button and they'll swing down. Free storage compartment here in the front. Nice, big, thick doors. They are held up with magnets. As you check under here, you've got a huge amount of exterior storage space under here for bringing your other toys and goodies along. Located under here, you'll find your solar controller. Again, you're gonna get standard on the roof, over 100 watts of solar panel. It's gonna be able to trickle charge that battery. You'll see you also have a battery disconnect switch over on the opposite side. They've got slam latches, so as you drop it down, it just closes and tightens up right by itself. Also on this side, you'll have exterior cable outlet if you want to bring an outdoor TV. Some 110 plugs for plugging in your accessories that you want to bring along, along and get some power to those. Also, you see under here, you've got the propane quick connect if you want to bring a little outside grill. Like I said, a trailer of this size, it is dual axle. It's going to give you an overall better, better uh, towing feel, um, as well as if you have a blowout on either side. You've got the satisfaction knowing that you do have another tire, at least on one side. And they are a nice off-road uh, tire. So for those of you folks that maybe want to go a little bit off terrain, this is going to be great for you. And these micro minis sit up pretty nicely and have some good, uh, some good ground clearance for you. Stepping up to the unit, you've got the nice stable steps which drop down here. And they can sit up inside with the big grab bar here. Along the back side here, you also do have a spray port. They provide you the uh, hose that you can attach to there. Do a little outside shower if you like, or wash off the pets or the toys. Do you get a ladder to get up on your roof? Winnebago's have some sturdy roofs, so you can certainly get up there and walk around. Up top, you can also see it's prepped for a backup camera. You get a full spare and the bumper with the end caps. Coming along the other side, you do have some goodies over here also. You'll find another outside shower. You've got a black tank flush on board for flushing out your black holding tank. Keep the smells down, help to push everything through. And then your sewage dump right here also has some great ground, ground clearance. So again, for those of you folks that want to go a little more off terrain, you're going to have the ground clearance for that. As you keep coming along, you'll find your cable hookups, your 30 amp power cord hookup, service center for your fridge. And then of course your fresh water tank fill up and your city water hookup right here. Your hot water heater on board is gas electric. Just push the button on the inside and it'll start up from there. So from the other side of your pass through storage bin. Same deal as what we saw earlier. It'll be able to slam down from there. You do have also an exterior solar port if you want to bring an extra solar panel along with you. You can plug it right into there, face it towards the sun. And that will help with your uh, roof panel to trickle charge the battery up front. We'll step up inside. A couple years ago, Winnebago did a little refresh on the inside of their micro mini series with the cabinetry color, the countertops, dinettes, cushions, and all that. Some really nice upgrades here. Again, this is a great couples camper coach. You can bring a third along. This dinette will make it to another sleeping area if you need it to be. But with the weight of this coach, the overall size, you're not really going to be limited on where you can go or what you can even tow with. Also, a great amount of storage for the size again. Start when you walk in, you will find your entertainment system. You've got your TV, 
Below that is the Connects Wireless Charging Station. Drop your phone on there and it'll be able to charge. Onboard entertainment here, you've got your stereo, CD player, Bluetooth capability. Next to that, you'll find your main control panel. Check your tank levels. All done right down below here. Your awning extends switch. It is a power awning, so hit the button. It'll open and close from there. Your water heater does run off either gas or electric. You got the water pump on board. The Winnebago Micro Mini Series also come in standard with the tank heaters on board. So you've got 12 volt heating pads for underneath your underbelly for your holding tanks. Keep those warm for those of you folks that want to go out in colder conditions. Then you got a couple light switches here. Let's come below that. Like I said, great amount of storage on this unit. Got the top drawers and then down below, a little more space under here. Climate control you can find right next to your bathroom door as you open it up. You still do get a sink, medicine cabinet, you got the stand up shower, and your toilet with foot flush. It's not very common to see a sink in a bathroom of this size, so it's nice that Winnebago is still implementing that here. And then below your sink, you still do have some extra storage there. As you come over to your galley area, you got enough overhead cabinetry and below drawers for anything that you want to bring along. Huge stainless steel sink. Won't have any problem fitting a bunch of dishes in there. Above that, here's that overhead cabinetry space, maybe for your plates, your bowls, your cups. That goes back pretty far. It's a nice deep cabinet. Since you don't get an oven on board, you're going to get a convection microwave so it can work like an oven or your standard microwave. And standard a three burner propane cup cooktop here with a big drawer underneath that maybe for your pots and your pans as you come below the sink there are sink covers that's what you'll find right there and then you'll have your few drawers here which again nice and deep long enough for all those things that you want to bring along Talking about a small unit, they don't cut you short on the fridge either. Look at how tall this thing is. It's a gas electric fridge, separate freezer, separate fridge. Take a week long trip in this, pack it up, you're ready to go. Again, for two people, tons of fridge space on this unit. It does have roof mounted air. And back behind that is a 12 volt fan. Great for moving air around. Then towards the front, you'll find your bed space. You do have outlets, 110 and USB towards the backside, and plenty of overhead cabinetry, which will stay up by themselves. Winnebago use some nice heavy duty latches for their cabinets and their drawers. You find they hold up really well. Their flooring also, the plywood decking on the flooring is a lot thicker than most other manufacturers. Again, all this stuff that you're seeing here is standard. There's nothing optional that we're seeing here. A lot of great features that you just don't find on other units of this size. They'll cut you short on the things that you can't see, which Winnebago just isn't doing for you. More overhead cabinetry space above your dinette. Again, great for two people to sit here. Maybe you want to bring a little third seat collapsible that you can put here, but this will make a bed space. Drop the table down, put the cushions on top. You got an extra sleeping space here maybe for for the trip if you need or for the pet even if you want a spot for them your dinettes the seating does have the big opening underneath for some more added storage so then the winnebago micro mini series you're getting a lot of standard features with the solar the power stabilizer jacks the tank heaters on board power tongue jack in the front big spot for propane tanks the roof mounted air Winnebago's warranty, the three-year structural warranty, a huck bolted frame underneath. They're using bolts that are done in plain train tractor construction. High quality products here on this product. So for those of you that always ask, why is it a little more expensive? You're, you're paying for more expensive parts, which are quality. So this is the 2022 Winnebago Micro Mini 1708 FB here at Southerton, Pennsylvania, Fretz RV. Again, my name is Bronson. If you have any more questions, feel free to reach out in the comments. 
I'll be glad to try to help you out there. Give a call out to the dealership, ask for me. Do my best to help you out, answer any questions you might have. Be sure to like the video if you just subscribe, or like the video if you enjoyed. Keep up with my further content, you can hit that subscribe button. Got plenty more trailers, fifth wheels, class A, B, C motorhomes coming up for you guys. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks.